so we can't test that it's working. So what we want to do is just quickly jump back out of the editor, give him a quick waypoint down the road, and click on waypoint or F4 for the shortcut key. Let's just give him a location there, that'll do. Okay, so now he's going to drive down to here. Let's just re-preview it and make sure that the camera's going to follow him and not stay where it is. Okay, excellent. And as you can see, the camera's sticking to that location. Now, the camera's going to stay stuck on that location until we um, add in some sort of action or a command or something that's going to make it jump to the next scene. So what we're going to do is a very simple little thing here. We're just going to add two little players, or we can call it man1. Let's just add another unit here called man2. Okay. Make sure they're ungrouped so that they start where you want them to start. What we're going to do is give man1 a waypoint down to man2. We're going to get him to head down to him at a normal uh, normal speed. So we want limited speed so he doesn't get there too quick and he'll move at a constant like constant pace. Okay, now that we've done that, let's move it on top of the other bloke so we make sure you get as close to him as you can. Okay, now that we've done that, let's just quickly... um. I'll tab out and go have another look at our script quickly. You know, remember, man one and man two. Okay, so now that we've got our um, scene working and the camera's actually following the Humvee down the road, the next step is actually getting it to jump off the Humvee and step to the next scene, which in our case is just not like, destroying the camera, but that's okay. We're going to make that our next scene anyway. What we want to do is jump down the go-to loop, and we're going to set a condition above that so that when the condition equals true, or when the in our case, man1 gets to man2, it's going to jump below that and it's going to move on. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to put in the question mark, which is the if statement. Well, question marks the same as if. There's another way of explaining it. And we're going to have man1 distance man2. Now what that means, it's going to say if man1 distance from man2, then we're going to have is less than Whoop, is less than or equal to say 5 meters now this is important make sure you put it in the dotted points otherwise it's not going to work and we're going to have go to just as above as before in quotation marks and we're going to make let's just say next scene in quotation marks okay so what that's going to say if man 1 if man 1 is less than or equal to 5 meters from man 2, go to next scene. What we're going to do down here is add in another hash and then call it next scene. Once man 1 is within 5 meters of man 2, it's going to go to next scene which is down here and then once it reaches there it's not going to read anything above it, it's just keep reading below it, which in our case is terminating the camera and exiting the scene. Okay, All right now let's go back in. We'll make sure you save it first. Okay, you already should know how to save it in the .sqs extension. I've actually made a little mistake there in the script that I'm going to have to change. Um, I've actually put in more than rather than less than. Make sure you change that, otherwise you're going to have a problem there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so it should look like that. Less than or equal to five. I had it on more than, so it was pretty much telling it to go there straight away. Okay. Okay, now that we've done that, resave it. Let's just jump back in the editor. Okay, now that we've done all that, we're back in the editor. One man two is ready. Just move them a little bit closer just to make sure that they're going to um, get there before the Humvee reaches the end of the runway. And I've also extended the length of the um, waypoint here, as you can see. Right, yeah. Now, what it should what should happen if the condition's set right and it works? The Humvee should get down so far and then the camera will stop following it and stop dead where it is. Okay, now let's just jump in and have a quick look and see how it worked. Okay, he's on his way. That should get down. Uh, player 1 should be getting close to player 2 right about now. And any second now, the camera should... There we go. The camera should stop like that. Now, if you had another scene there underneath... Um, where I put in next, we'll go have a look at that. So just follow with me. Actually, before we duck back out to the text editor, let's just quickly abort that. 
what I'm going to do is show you what you can do there to get it to jump to the next scene rather than just stopping dead on the runway. What we're going to do is change him back to camera from scene. So it's this exit camera dot sqs. Okay. Now quickly preview it again. Let's just say we want to be down here and we want to get a, a front view of the Humvee as well. So try and estimate where we think it changes, which I think was roughly around there, so I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to get that scene of the, of the Humvee driving past as well. So we'll left click, exit, okay. Now what we do is you can either abort there or alt tab straight out. Okay, now that we're back out here, you understand how it works. Okay, once it, that condition reaches true, it's going to jump down to here. What we want to do when it does that is move to the scene that we just set there, so we'll paste that underneath that. Okay, so it should look something like that. That's your next scene. Now we want it as soon as it hits that, we want it to jump straight to this camera. So we're not going to set any any differences there. And we might change the zoom a little bit just to make it look a bit prettier. Let's just change it down to about 500 for now. Okay, and let's so it doesn't just go there and then flick off to a different location. We want it to stay there for about five seconds. So uh, little squiggly key next to your one. I'm going to set it for let's just say 30 seconds and then the scene will end okay okay now save that okay once you save let's jump back into the editor and we'll see what we've done okay now that we're back in here let's abort out back to the editor we want to change him back to scene again okay this exit scene.sqs Okay, now everything should be pretty smooth and ready to go. Let's give it a run through and see what we get. Okay, man one should be on his way to man two. Humvee's moving down the road. Once man one reaches ran man two, it should flick to the front scene of the Humvee and we should see it come rolling past. And there we go. That's pretty much how to configure a script from start to finish. Now, there is one little trick I'll show you how to do so that we can abort this and then actually go into the mission. What you want to do is add a trigger to the map. Okay, just give it any access, it doesn't really matter. Now, we want to change the type to end one. Now, I'll explain why we've done that in a second. Okay, don't need to set anything. You can set set um, diameter down to zero if you want to. So it looks prettier, it doesn't get in the way. Okay, now what we want to do is um, alt tab out, back to our editor, and I'm going to show you why we've done that. Okay, I've just jumped back out, and I'm going to show you why we've um, put the trigger on the map with the end one condition. Um, pretty much, we know what we should know how uh, scripts work, and now we should see that it get man one will reach man two, and it'll jump down to next scene, and it'll play the next camera position, which is in front of the Humvee for 30 seconds. And then it's going to destroy the camera, and then as you can see at the bottom there, I've already you should have already had it in your script if you've been following my tutorials. And one equals true. Now what that's going to do is set the trigger on the map to true. Then it's going to exit this script and then go onto whatever scene you want set. Well, pretty much if you've got a mission running, it'll jump back into your mission and start the mission if you've called it for the starting scene or whatever. But um, there's a million different ways you can call this script. You could have a trigger on the map. You call it from the initialization script, or you could, there's just a million ways you could do it. Um, it's up to you, and it's up to you to be creative, and yeah, enjoy. I'd like to see some of your videos up on YouTube. Thanks for watching.